In this podcast episode, Mark Hyman and George Papanicolaou discuss the critical role of exercise in promoting overall health and longevity. They emphasize that exercise is a powerful, accessible tool that can treat depression, improve lifespan and health span, reduce inflammation, optimize hormones, and balance the body. George Papanicolaou shares his personal journey with exercise, revealing that it has been his medicine for managing ADHD, improving concentration, mood, sleep, and overall well-being. He stresses the importance of maintaining a level of fitness that allows for any physical activity at any moment, advocating for the incorporation of exercise into daily life from an early age. Hyman critiques traditional medical advice on exercise, which often lacks specific guidance, and introduces the concept of measuring fitness levels, including cardiovascular and muscle fitness, to understand how the body responds to exercise and its impact on health. The conversation delves into the significance of measuring cardiovascular fitness through VO2 max testing, which indicates the maximum amount of oxygen a person can utilize during intense exercise. This measure correlates with lipid levels, blood pressure, and overall health. VO2 max testing involves performing maximal exercise on a bike or treadmill while wearing a mask to measure oxygen utilization. Papa Nicolaou emphasizes the correlation between cardiovascular fitness, muscle mass, and chronic diseases. He explains that maintaining aerobic fitness and muscle strength is crucial for preventing conditions like sarcopenia and anabolic resistance. They both stress the importance of starting an exercise regimen early in life to combat age-related declines in fitness and prevent metabolic imbalances. Hyman introduces the concept of mitochondrial function and its role in aging and chronic diseases, explaining that mitochondria are essential for producing energy in the body. Declines in mitochondrial function can contribute to various health issues, and exercise can improve mitochondrial function, enhance oxygen delivery to cells, and boost overall health and longevity. The importance of incorporating exercise physiologists and nutritionists to create tailored fitness plans for patients is highlighted. Papanikolou shares a story of a 105-year-old man who improved his VO2 max through cycling, demonstrating that it's never too late to start exercising and enhancing fitness levels. He encourages listeners to prioritize exercise, regardless of age, to reap the numerous benefits for physical and mental well-being. Papa Nicolaou and Hyman highlight that a higher VO2 max is associated with better cardiovascular health and overall fitness. They stress the importance of maintaining a high VO2 max through regular aerobic exercise, such as zone 2 training, which involves moderate intensity activities like brisk walking or cycling. Additionally, they highlight the benefits of high-intensity interval training, IT, for improving VO2 max. HIT involves short bursts of intense exercise followed by rest periods and has been shown to be more effective in increasing VO2 max compared to traditional aerobic training. They recommend incorporating HIT workouts into a fitness routine to enhance cardiovascular fitness and metabolic health. Body composition is another crucial aspect of overall health discussed in the podcast. Papa Nicolaou and Hyman explain that body composition refers to the ratio of fat to muscle in the body. They stress the importance of maintaining a healthy body composition as excess fat, especially visceral fat around the organs, can lead to metabolic issues and increase the risk of chronic diseases. To assess body composition, they recommend using bioelectrical impedance analysis, a method that measures the body's fat and muscle mass by sending electrical signals through the body. They emphasize the significance of muscle mass in metabolism and overall health, as muscles are metabolically active tissues that play a crucial role in glucose metabolism and immune function. In terms of improving body composition, Papa Nicolaou and Hyman emphasize the importance of resistance training or strength training. They explain that resistance training helps build muscle strength and functional muscle mass, which is essential for metabolic health and overall well-being. They recommend incorporating resistance training exercises like weightlifting, band training, or bodyweight exercises into a fitness routine to promote muscle growth and strength. They explain the concept of progressive resistance training, where individuals gradually increase the amount of weight they lift over time to enhance muscle growth. 
They recommend incorporating resistance training into one's routine at least two to three times a week to see significant improvements in strength and muscle mass. Furthermore, they address the impact of certain medications, such as opioid-induced constipation medications, on body composition. They caution that these drugs can lead to muscle and fat loss, which can negatively affect metabolism and lead to weight gain. They stress the importance of maintaining adequate protein intake and engaging in resistance training to counteract the effects of these medications on body composition. In addition to exercise, Papa Nicolaou and Hyman touch upon the role of nutrition in supporting fitness goals. They emphasize the importance of consuming high-quality protein to aid in muscle repair and growth. Papa Nicolaou suggests aiming for a protein intake of 1.2 to 1.6 grams per kilogram of body weight, depending on one's exercise activity level. They recommend sources of protein such as grass-fed beef, farm-raised poultry, and fish from clean sources to meet daily protein requirements. They highlight the need to reduce refined starches and carbohydrates while increasing healthy fats and quality protein in one's diet. They stress the importance of maintaining a balanced diet to support muscle growth, metabolic health, and longevity. Throughout the podcast, Papana Kaleo and Hyman underscore the importance of taking a holistic approach to health and wellness. They advocate for regular exercise, proper nutrition, and lifestyle modifications to improve overall health and longevity. They encourage individuals to prioritize their fitness goals by incorporating resistance training, cardiovascular exercise, and a balanced diet into their daily routine. They emphasize the role of exercise in maintaining muscle mass, strength, and metabolic health as key factors in promoting longevity and overall well-being.